first, we want to keep you updated on the spread of the virus across the Houston area. Tonight, the area is total at 927 positive cases, 117 of those reported just to date. Health officials say a total of eight people have died already. Two of those deaths announced earlier today. The number of people who have recovered from coronavirus also increasing, though. That number now stands at 57. Good evening and thank you so much for joining us. I'm Jonathan Martinez. Governor Greg Abbott taking action tonight to slow the spread of the virus here in the Lone Star State. Today, he announced strict travel restrictions for anyone coming to Texas from hotspots around the nation. People are now required to self-quarantine for two weeks if they fly to Texas from Miami, Atlanta, Chicago, Detroit, California, and Washington State. The governor is also taking his restrictions a step further for anyone driving from Louisiana. They will also be mandated to self-quarantine for two weeks. Channel 2's Bill Barajas joins us live along I-10 in East Houston, where warnings are now being posted. Bill? Well, those travel restrictions go into effect starting tomorrow at noon, and some of those warnings have already been put out to drivers here along I-10. I want to show you one of those warnings just behind me now. Those signs normally informing drivers about Amber Alerts or traffic times. Well, now they're letting folks know that if you're coming from the state of Louisiana because of personal travel, you must quarantine. There's very few vehicles on I-10 nowadays, but an updated executive order from Governor Greg Abbott will now diminish traffic from our neighboring state to the east. I think that's good. You know, we don't need uh, any more people getting sick uh, in Louisiana or here. Travelers have less than 24 hours before the executive order goes into effect. K.J. Hamilton is from Louisiana, but was visiting family here in Houston this weekend. He says he will rethink visiting again anytime soon. No, if that's the case, there's no point. It's not that serious. Yeah, I mean, how are they going to quarantine in jail? The governor's executive order today on travel restrictions is just his latest version. He already restricted travel through Texas airports for anyone traveling from the tri-state area or New Orleans. Areas with high numbers of coronavirus cases will be met by DPS troopers and told to quarantine for at least 14 days. They will be asked to leave their name, number, date of birth, license number, flight information, and their home address for a random follow-up. Now I am updating that uh, executive order to also include travel by road. And it's travel by road from any location in the state of Louisiana. The order does not apply to any travel related to commercial activity, military service, emergency response, health response, or critical infrastructure functions. I don't feel like you can avoid it. It is what it is. I feel like if it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. And again, DPS troopers will begin enforcing that new executive order starting tomorrow at noon. If you're coming from Louisiana into the state of Texas, you will be asked to quarantine for 14 days. Live in East Houston, Bill Barajas, KPRC, Channel 2 News.